The Visitor is one of my top ten films in terms of recommended viewing for many reasons. One, first and foremost, is that it brings home the, the tragedy or one of the tragedies resulting from 9-11, uh, that is the deportation uh, of, of immigrants in our country. And, you know, we read about it, how many people were sent home, but uh, figures in newspapers do not necessarily tell us the, the real story. And here we have a film about a young Arab immigrant who plays, in, they call it a different name in the film, I'll use the Arabic word, the Dovaki, the drum. And he's in New York and he loves the United States. And, and, and he's just very happy here. He wants to earn a living here. And he, he, every time he goes by the Statue of Liberty, we're told, he jumps in joy because he's so, he loves America so very much. His girlfriend is not an Arab American, you know, she's from Senegal, which again is the, the, the mix of cultures. And they're in New York. And his girlfriend works side by side with a man from Israel, selling things in a marketplace. And there is that unity, it's sort of like New York, it's, it's filmed here, you know, at NYU, you, you, and, and, and there's this wonderful setting for all of this to take place. And what happens, we find out, the Tariq, that's the name of the protagonist, the young Derbaki player, is staying in an apartment that he thinks he's renting, but it's actually the apartment that belongs to an American college professor. And when the American college professor shows up, he finds Tariq there with his girlfriend, and he lets them stay. He lets them stay in the apartment, and they become friends. And the college professor has been for years trying to play the piano, and he fails, he can't play the piano. Tariq teaches him how to play the drum. And so instead of having the American teach the third world country person how to play the sax, it's role reversal. You have the third world Tariq teaching an American college professor how to play the derbaki. And of course, Walter comes out of his shell. Tariq helps him. He plays the drum. He learns how to do it. He gets confidence in himself. He breaks out of his shell. He becomes, he becomes the man I think he's always wanted to be, thanks to his relationship with Tariq. And then, of course, uh, Tariq, unfortunately, they find out he's an illegal immigrant. And he's placed in a detention center. And these are some of the most painful scenes in the film. Because the detention center films, scenes, the detention center scenes, really show how one loses one's humanity. He's on his way out of the country, and there's nothing that can be done. Nothing. And the only stereotypes, if there are stereotypes in this film, are of the NYPD, and the detention center guards. They're, they're all pretty one-dimensional in, in this particular film. I, I have to say that, to, to be fair. They're not, they're just by the book. Maybe that's the realistic view. I don't know, but, but n not one shows any compassion uh, towards Tari. His mother, who has been living in Detroit, comes onto the scene. She gets attached to Walter, the college professor. They become friends. So here you have an American man befriending, perhaps even falling in love with an Arab woman. You have the American protagonist championing the rights of Tariq. You have an Arab American lawyer caught up in the maze of all this, trying to help, or he may be a Muslim American, it's never really quite clear, trying to help Tariq. And in the very end of the film, Tariq is sent home. And there's a line in the film that, that still stays with me, and Tariq says it while he's in the detention center. Uh, I am not a terrorist. This is not fair. And what he's basically saying is, I'm not how you define me in your culture. I love this country. I want to be a part of this country. And I asked myself after watching this film, how many other immigrants sent home, okay, felt the same way about the United States.
Mm -hmm. And how many were sent home who really could have made great contributions to our country? And the inhumanity, the deport, all of this sort of comes into play with post 9-11. So I think there are many questions that arise from the visitor, okay, about about the, the rounding up of immigrants, about you know the NYPD now showing films like The Third Jihad as part of the educational experience with its police officers. You can understand perhaps why they had these jady, jaded perceptions of immigrants of color. You know? So I think it's an important film. It's a, it's a film I would show to members of the NYPD and talk about afterwards. I think it's that good. And it's done beautifully. It's an independent film. It's a beautiful, it's, it's a film where there's love and respect. It's just, I mean, I, I can't really describe in words the emotions that I feel about this particular film. My, my one regret is that I don't know the filmmakers and I'd love to take the director writer out for coffee or take them out to dinner to thank them for putting together such a beautifully made film beautifully made film. Haima Basli, the woman who plays Tariq's mother, is a tremendous actress who believes that the cinema is a tool for peace. A young uh, Lebanese-American who, excuse me, who plays Tariq. I've been in touch with him over the years. It's an outstanding performance. Outstanding. Everyone in the film is very good. So The Visitor, ding, 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 ding. Five stars. You know, enjoy.